wave to the travelling fans yeah, there. Brilliant. Very satisfying performance. Oh, brilliant, about. brilliant. And so nice that so many fans are here and, and uh, took the travel and uh, and to support the team feels brilliant because yeah, we are in the again in quarterfinals. It's a big step and uh, showed again resilience and mentality and overcame difficulties. Um, yeah, we, we did what was necessary and, and, and digged in and, and uh, got a deserved win. It's difficult here and, and we did what was needed. So well done to the team. And added satisfaction for the, you're dealing with so many different things at the time, sanctions, yes. and complications. But I, tell you, I think like the you know the Chelsea has has this kind of um, culture in, within the club, within the building where we work every day. So what I found from day one is this like football first mentality. Everybody pushes the first team every three days to the limit. Everybody goes to the limit and is focused on on football and football first. And, and then, of course, we, we try to implement an atmosphere, but, but this is the culture. And this culture is already installed and this helps us now to focus when the times are difficult, when times are distracting, because it's already there. We don't need to install it now. And of course, we encourage the players, and of course, we I feel part in, in like in, a, in 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 all of this. But I'm also just a part, and that's why it feels so good that we can still produce results. I'm very proud. Perfect timing with the equaliser. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, made things complicated. We're not so good in first half. Not so fluid. The pitch was horrible, by the way. Absolutely horrible. Made things very, very complicated for us. It's brand new pitch, but not ready to play on. Um, tactics were not so right today, even in, in the first uh, 20 minutes. So I take the responsibility for that. And then it was more fluid and within the moments where we started to play better, playing through the gaps, having, uh, finding better spaces, exactly in these two moments, we were decisive and scored. So, yeah, but it was uh, very important to calm everybody down. We were a bit lucky with a, with a post, of course, but this, these things happen. I've been talking to your skipper, Cesar, and you've, yeah. got, you've had plenty of reasons to drop the level of performance. Plenty of distractions, plenty of excuses yes. if you wanted him, but no sign of that tonight. No, 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 because, I mean, he plays since, since what, since 12, 15 years here. He yes. is used to focus on football, and that's why it's... I think that's the key point why it's possible now to get, stay focused, because the, the club has a mentality that sharpens the attitude, that sharpens the mind of the players. If you are in there like our skipper for so many years, you do what is, is needed, you step up and, and it, it, it's, 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 it's normal to focus and that makes it possible to, to focus even in difficult times. And now what? I mean, do you hope and expect to carry on in the competition? Is that just a... Sure, sure, sure we hope and we, we expect uh, to carry on. We were here today, we want, uh, we want to compete. We uh, took a lot of sacrifice and, and we fight hard to be in the last eight. It's a huge step to be again in the last eight. And uh, yeah, we hope now we, we are like excited for the draw now and, uh, and, and then we have a game in Middlesbrough <laughs> three days later. So enough to do. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you. Away from the football field. Yeah, well, we all spoke before, before the game about the, the, the pitch, the 90 minutes being a safe haven, a safe place for the players during such circumstances. We've all felt like that as players. I'm sure many players who've played the game will tell you that. And these players are playing like that. They look free out there. They look like they, they haven't got the, the burden of the, what's going on in Ukraine on their shoulders and what's going on at the football club. This is the place where they can go and be free and enjoy themselves for that 90 minutes. Um, but they were very professional today. Sensible team that you put out there. Very assured performance and got the job done. Absolutely. Um, and there are also doubts for Chelsea <clears throat> fans as well. There are reports this evening that because of the EU sanctions, there won't be any tickets available for the crowd. We're in brilliant voice as well this evening. And actually, we can have a look at the moment they got their penalty because I think all four of us suddenly thought, hold on a minute, this wasn't in the script. Yeah, no, I agree. I, 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 look, the, the penalty, a well-deserved penalty, it was a definite penalty. And I think they had momentum, Neil. I think they started the game with a high press, loads of energy. They had the crowd behind them and they got the penalty at a good time and dispatched it really well. Um, look, Chelsea ended up, we, well, we see the, the penalty here, it comes from a free kick. And then the second phase comes back into the box and Chelsea don't clear their lines. And look, his hand's in the air for too long and it hits his hand and it's a penalty. It's when you don't deal with that first ball, when your ball initially drops, not, you go and get clean contact on it, it just creates hysteria, creates panic in there. 
And as you look at it there, it's hand, it is hand to ball. Um, I don't think he actually really meant it, obviously, but I think it was just the ball, his yeah. hand come down to the ball, it was a natural reaction for him, and definite penalty in my eyes. Yeah, at this, at this point in the game as well, Lille were forcing the game. You have to give them credit. They, they made Chelsea play poor in the first half. You know, and it was just Yilmaz, I mean, he, he scores goals all through his career and you can see he's such a clean striker at a ball. And at this point, you, we all sat on our edge of our seats for all oh, this, this, this could happen here. Lille were in the ascendancy. But Chelsea have a calmness about them. Mm. You know, stems from the manager, stems from the middle of the park and, I, and, I, and they just gradually fought them well. When you're not playing well, you have to fight yourself back into the game and eventually a little bit of quality and, and that was the difference. It was the difference and... You kind of got the impression not only were they calm, as Joe said, but also that moment of quality where you felt like if they needed to do something, they would do. And just before half time, you got the impression that they were like, come on, let's well, deliver. I think they just showed you that if you step off of us and give us space, especially in and around our box, we will punish you. And it was yeah. the first time in that first half that they didn't actually put pressure on the ball because they pressed really well as a team throughout the first half. But you see, as the ball gets recycled and it comes back into the central area, Jorginho takes a touch here. Too much space, too much time. It's a fabulous ball to get it through where he did with the outside of his foot. Guided it through beautifully. It's a great run as well, by the way, inside the full-back. And he dispatches it beautifully. A tight angle. Yeah. Probably the first time, isn't it, that Lille weren't in a good enough shape to be able to get out and press the ball. They dropped a little bit too deep. They got a little bit stretched on the switch of play. And then that allowed for when it did get switched, the ball back into Jorginho to just find that slide pass. And it's probably the first time in a half that a player tried to stretch the back line of Lille. And Pulisic did that and then he was founded behind. It was perfect pass and a, and a great run and tucked it away. I remember sitting with you two actually when we were at Stamford Bridge for the first leg and both of you were just saying, Lille just haven't got the quality. But actually mm. tonight, they were much, much better than They the were much, be like, much better. Like I said, it wasn't necessarily <laughs> Chelsea weren't at it. It was that Lille were on it. And there was a few clips early on where they were pressing up and they had eight or nine players in the final photo putting it right on Chelsea. You know, they, you know, getting at Alonso, you know, they're, they're athletic. You see, they showed glimpses tonight of the team that won the league. They had gone close there. Yilmaz, again, he was a form in the side. Bamba, I mean, he, he's an absolute nightmare for Alonso all day because he's jinky, he goes both ways. You know, Yilmaz has been out of the frame for a lot of the time after being top scorer last year, coming back in again. You know, short corner, delivered. That was a key moment in yeah, the game. Massive. If he dispatches that, then this game gets very, very interesting. I think that was the moment in the game where F went, right, let's... Let's impose ourselves now, otherwise he's going to get too close to the mark. And then they started coming into the game more, but that was a crucial moment. Mm. OK, who wants to analyse the finish from Aspel Equator? <laughs> Listen, it was, a, it, was, <laughs> it was a great finish in the yeah. end. I think we looked at him for, oh, is that, where's that come off? I thought it was an own goal in the yeah. first, sorry. But just this talk about the cross from Mason Mount, by the way. He's come on as a sub, impacted the game. Runs, behind, um, runs off, off, uh, off people there. They don't go out and get close to him. If you don't get out to people, that's the second time. Second goal that they've scored when you don't get out to people when they've got that type of quality. Here again, he sees the situation, reads it well. Off his weaker foot left side, but doesn't matter. Hits the perfect corridor of doubt for goalkeepers and defenders in that area. And this finish here off his knee, he means this, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I mean, we were talking about it, you know, when we watched the replay back. And I just think the way that he plants his left foot and then gets his body over. I think any part of the outside of his body, then it makes contact with and goes in. OK, granted, he didn't mean to go in and, and knee it in the back of the net, but I think the way he shapes up for it, it allows for him to hit any part of his body for the ball to go in the back of the net. I think Farah's being very kind. <laughs> I think so. I think, I think his approach yeah. to it, I think it gives him a chance. I think yeah. if he's got an open body, it goes straight past him. Yeah, no, you listen... It's one of them. You 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 take them when they come. Left foot stamped down left foot and then he gets his body down, over it. Bang. Listen... If he said Harry Kane, <laughs> he's, he's meant it. Do you know what I mean? But Cesar will be happy with that. Should but he was out? excellent all night. Let's like, find out, because he's talking to Des. <laughs> so um, hopefully we can get the answer to that question. All yours, Des. There have been confusing days for Chelsea, but you must be delighted to come through that tonight. Yes, of course. Uh, you know, it has not been a, a normal last few weeks, but, uh, you know, we have to deal with uh, we, it's in our hands, which is... Uh, train the best we can, be ready for the games. We are coming, uh, you know, we are playing every three days, uh, difficult games. We know how difficult is the Champions League and tonight it was a difficult game. So, of course, we are happy to, to go through and to win again. And your goal wrapped it up. Knead it in nicely. It was beautifully done. 
<laughs> I just I just put the leg and uh, I went with my with my knee. You know, of course I'm happy. It's not uh, I'm not very used to score goals. Uh, you know, so obviously the, the winning goal and to go through for to the quarterfinals. I think the last Champions League goal was against Lille two and a half years ago. So yeah. happy memories. <laughs> it was. It was. But yeah, th th after the penalty, you had to stand up to some pressure, didn't you, in that first half? I think the first half. We didn't start very well. I think they were very active. They, they, they had a lot of time to prepare the game. We knew that uh, it was it was going to be difficult. Uh, we, sometimes we play uh, in the spaces. Sometimes we made as well a few mistakes. So we allowed them to to counterattack. They are dangerous. But I think the reaction after the penalty was good. We scored before half time and you know perfect think, timing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Perfect. It was it was the right time because uh, when you if you go one nil down at half time we knew that the second half would be very difficult. Yeah, it felt a very different game coming out for the second half. But after the run of results, it's pretty impressive. You could you could have found plenty of excuses and reasons not to play well this Chelsea side, but no sign of that at all. That's, that's not us. You know, this group fights uh, against everything. We know that uh, we have to do the best we can on the pitch. That's what we do. We have our fans here. We are all together, we stick together in the difficult times and hopefully we end up uh, having a very good season. And when, when a club and when the squad are in a difficult situation, it can it also bring players even closer together, can't it? Yeah, and you know, that, that, that also the, the, the case of players not playing, you know, it's, it's everything outside the noise that uh, sometimes it's, you know, it, it could be maybe easier to just let it go, lose the focus, but uh, as I said before, that's not us. Uh, we do everything we, we can that we have in our hands, and from there we have to to keep playing <laughs> every three days, difficult games, and hopefully have a good end of the season. Your champions, that's motivation enough, isn't it? Hold it is, on to that crown. It is, of course. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you.